Danny Nguyen Audio, welcome to another Pro Tools tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you the tools on how to, on how to start editing. Okay, here's Pro Tools, and here's the audio file I just recorded. It's just me uh, checking the mic. I'll just play for you real quick. Okay, so the first tool I'm going to show you is the uh, trimmer tool. Just click on standard, the left hand right here, the left side, trimmer tool. Okay, and basically what the trimmer tool does is allow you to trim your audio file to where you want it to be. So you could do it on the front end or on the back end. Say for example you just want like this area right here. So you could use the trimmer tool and adjust to there, and I'll just play for you. Okay. Okay, the next tool I'm going to show you is the uh, TCE tool, also known as the Time Compression Expansion tool. What the Time Compression Expansion tool does is allow you to compress or expand your, uh, your audio. So when you expand your audio, you get like a, a slower sounding effect. So let me just play for you guys. Check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two. Okay, I'll undo that. Basically how you undo is you command Z on a Mac or I think on PC I think it's uh, Alt Z or Control Z. I'm not exactly sure. I don't I don't use Pro Tools on PC that often. So okay, I'll show you the compression. When you compress the audio file, basically it just sounds like you're just playing faster. So I'll just play for you guys. Okay, do that. The next tool I'm going to show you is the loop tool. Basically what the loop tool does is duplicate as many times as you want your audio file. So here I just want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12, about 12. I duplicated about 11, 12 times here. You could do it on the front end as well. Okay, let me just undo that. The next tool I'm going to show you is the selector tool. The selector tool allows you to select on your timeline, wherever on your timeline. So you have, so you just select on your audio file right here and you just could play it. Also another thing you can do with the selector tool is click and hold and drag on the timeline. Say if there's like a bunch of audio files here and you can just select all of them at the same time instead of individually and clicking each one. So that's another thing you can do. Also, what you can do with the selected tool is select an area on your on your audio file, say like right here, and you could actually split the file in half by using the command use command E on a Mac and I think maybe uh, Alt E or Control E on a PC. So I'll just I'll just go ahead and do that. You split the audio file in half. Now you have two. You actually do it like as many times as you want. I just did it once just to show how to do it. Okay, I'm just gonna undo that. Okay. And that's the selector tool. Uh, I'm running out of time, so I'll show you how the the grabber tool works on the next video. This is Danny Nguyen Audio, signing out.